today I thought I would have a look at some of the carbon monoxide alarms that I have in my possession and we'll perhaps do some sort of comparison with them. So at the moment I'm waiting for things to arrive from China for other projects so I thought we would do this today instead. These are in no particular order. This white round one, this is the cheapest carbon monoxide alarm I could find in AliExpress. I think it was five pounds delivered. It runs on three AAA batteries. It does have a display to show you the parts per million. Right, can you see that? That there. But it doesn't display the screen all the time. It just does it after it's you've pressed the test reset button and then it beeps a few times and then goes back to being quiet and just sits there. Uh, showing the, the display and then it goes off uh, after a while. Uh, the second one is our trusty carbon monoxide meter, the AS8700A that we use for tuning the diesel heaters. And that works as long as you don't get any electronics nearby or move it quickly. See that? That jump? That was me because I moved near it with my microphone. Our trusted reliable friend, this one here, is the Fire Angel. It is the Fire Angel CO9D and this one shows you the parts per million display and as we know that one works very well. Uh, my previous generation to that is the Kiddy smoke alarm. It doesn't have a display. Uh, this is the 7, 7CO. This one still works by the way. This one also runs on uh, AA batteries. Oh, that's yeah, the Fire Angel one is a 10 year shield battery one. That's got you pull the tab and it runs for 10 years and it dies and you throw it away. A kiddie one, that's an old one, that runs on batteries. And this one is about to join me in the house uh, as a replacement to the other one. This is a combined smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. No, it's not going to replace one, it's going to become an addition to it. It's an additional smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. Because here in Scotland we are required to have them uh, by law and have them either wirelessly or wired uh, interconnected with each other. So when one goes off, they all goes off. And this one happens to be the XSense uh, CO7. I wonder if that stands for Scotland. I'm not sure, but this is one of their uh, connected. This is the combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. And for reference, we're using the TPI DC710 because it's got a mode where we can just uh, turn the pump on and you just let it sit and run. You just have the probe in the area that you're testing and it just uh, gives you a carbon monoxide reading of the area. I should really fire up the app and actually make sure that actually works if I had a phone with me which would be even better so I guess who's going back inside to get a phone? Have returned with phone. Uh, did I mention the, what do you call it, the X-Sense, that's another one of the 10 year battery ones. Again, in Scotland it's a Scottish law thing. They either have to be hardwired to mains with battery backup or wireless connected and the 10 year battery kind. That's what that one is for Scottish law. Right, the DC710 is running. We currently have no parts per million which match everything else in at the moment. And for my carbon monoxide source I'm going to run a petrol generator indoors like you shouldn't ever do. And I will take my wireless and go outside and unfortunately you have to stay here in the carbon monoxide and we'll film which one of these gets set off first or never and and then we'll be able to do a comparison but I'll be able to see when the carbon monoxide's up high enough that it should be a problem. I think that, yeah, that might just be me uh, moving about. So, uh, well, without further ado, I'm going to go and start the generator and I might better start my screen record on this. Uh, start screen record. All the audio, please. Nice audio. And three, two, one. Right, I'm going to start the generator and I'll leave you to um, watch which thing gets set off first.
Okay, why well, everybody's beeping in the background at me? Uh, so, let's just do some readings. The TPI is showing a reading of 243, 256. That one, the yellow one, showing 220 odds. The Fire Angel showing 220 odds. The cheapest one is showing 190. And the X Sense is sadly still showing 67. So, 200s, 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 200s. Oh, oh, shut it. Whoop, we're a little late to the party. But we're at the one, can you see that? 174, so it's heading up. Great. 183. Okay. Right, it's getting there. Eh, uh, yeah, hush, hush, because there's a way to. Shh. Stop! Please stop beeping. Please? No? Oh good, you can't silence it. Good, that's a good thing, you're not supposed to be able to silence them. That's gone 195, so hopefully it'll start sounding soon. That's coming back down. Right, I can stop your pump. No, I can't because there's too much uh, carbon monoxide. Right, uh, I'm going to open the door and turn the fan on. Hold on, let me... Right, so that was quite interesting. Right, ignoring the TPI, as that's just going to be our reference point in the thing. Our first sensor to react to any carbon monoxide was this one, the actually the cheap meter that we use for tuning, which is good because that's what we want when we're tuning. We want fast reaction times of things, uh, and that was the first that was the first one that uh, actually showed a display of carbon monoxide. The second one was the um, fire angel. The fire angel showed a a reading. Uh, like, I don't know, a few seconds after that one showed it. And then after the Fire Angel was the very, very cheap carbon monoxide alarm. It was the next on the display to... How did that? I didn't press a button. Ah. I don't know, I picked up. What? I picked up and it... Okay, it's cheap for a reason. But anyway, it's, it sensor's good. It still... It did the thing. It picked up uh, just a few moments after those ones. The slowest one, though, was the X-Sense. It actually still hasn't uh, made a noise, it hasn't alarmed yet uh, at any stage. Also, well, we ended the test soon enough because the carbon monoxide was getting pretty high in here. But I imagine it would have sensed and set off eventually, but it was rather slow. And I don't know if that's because of the, the battery. Uh, you know how it's got a 10 year battery, it doesn't monitor continuously, it just does a reading, I don't know, does it say on it how often the readings are? Pass. It does not say, I would have to look it up. I presume it's once once a minute, you know, it takes a reading, and then perhaps when it gets a reading, then it ups its reading to do more, because it seemed to be getting readings faster as the time went on. But it's interesting price-wise that the really, really cheap one which was active faster than the expensive one, but then again, this does only run on uh, AAA batteries, and that's got a 10-year lithium cell in it, so the price is probably reflective of that as well. But, again, it is better to have any carbon monoxide alarm than no carbon monoxide alarm. So if you're picking one, like, if you need interconnected, Obviously, you've got a choice of like Xsense, and I can't remember. There's another obvious brand that escapes me. Oh, it must be well, Fire Angel must do their own interconnected ones as well. And Kitty, if they still exist, I'm not sure. And then standalone alarms. Obviously, I can can't recommend the uh, Fire Angel one enough. It's been set off more times in this workshop than it probably cares to remember. And there's your we'll call them domestic uh, alarms. This one does make a noise, by the way. If you can. Turn this, this uh, thing off and you'll hear it chirping away. And it starts chirping about 20 parts per million. That's uh, good. But at least you can, you can silence this one. And that one, yeah, it's, it's cheap. I mean, it's, uh, granted, it's better than absolutely nothing, but it is cheap and runs on AA batteries. 
So you've probably not got a lot of warning if it just decides to flatten the batteries during the night. These all beep and give you low battery warning alarms. Things like that. And has the TPI actually come down far enough in carbon monoxide that I can turn it off? No, it's still way up in the 50s. Well, I suppose I can see there it's, we're still way up in the 50s. And that one says 61. That one says 30. And that one's put the screen off again. But yeah, so that was a, that was a quick look at some of the carbon monoxide alarms that are available today uh, on the market and well any questions comments anything like that as always leave them down below i'll try my best to answer them and thanks for watching